So America isn't entirely a stranger to shortages. During World War II, it was coffee, canned milk, a whole lot of stuff, really. Now, during the pandemic, it's been toilet paper, computer chips, ketchup packets. As life slowly gets back to normal, Chris Conti shows us the shortages we could still face this summer. As if COVID wasn't bad enough, computer hackings and deep freezes hampered a rebound in the supply chain. So this summer we'll pay more for our gas. Chicken wings and uh, sausages and bacon. Washington University professor Panos Kouvelis is an expert at supply chain management. He says many of these shortages will be short-lived. Because I think we understand where the shortage is coming from, and I don't think that the reasons that caused it in the first place are going to persist. The short-term shortages, the result of the Texas deep freeze and recent cyber attacks. None are expected to last through the summer. There's a chicken wing and sausage shortage, but that's due to increase in demand. The only four or five companies that, that drive the whole industry, there's not a lot of capacity. So you want to be outside, you want to, to grill and barbecue, and everybody enjoys it a little more. And speaking of getting out more, expect to pay dearly for that vacation. Rental cars are still incredibly hard to come by. Some customers are paying hundreds of dollars a day. Because the car manufacturers, uh, definitely, if they start producing cars, they're not going to make uh, the cars uh, for, uh, for rental companies because that's not uh, the high margins for them. That shortage is predicted to last past the summer, potentially a year thanks to a chip shortage. Cuvella says chip manufacturers had plenty of inventory back in March of 2020, but cars weren't selling, so automakers lowered their chip orders. Computers and the consumer electronics were selling very well during the pandemic. So they absorbed most of the capacity of uh, the uh, chip manufacturers. Looking for new appliances or furniture? How does six months sound? You will wait for a long time. Uh, it has nothing to do with making the appliance. It's getting the appliance from China to you. And don't even think of remodeling right now. Lumber mills are dealing with labor issues and capacity constraints. In 2019, an eight foot two by four would run you about $3. Now you'll pay eight and a quarter. But what about toilet paper, dog food, diapers? They all have made recent lists. Cuvelis blames social media for those. We're freaking out and we're not making it any easier. The, the, the advice to everyone is uh, stop hoarding. Cuvelis expects supply to be back to normal by 2022. However, he warns about any small disruption or virus surge. His advice, prepare yourself for what could be coming down the shortage supply train tracks. Right now, we're on course, but it doesn't take much for a derailment. We got to be a little patient and not uh, panic. Uh, right? The hoarding is not going to help uh, anyone. And uh, finally, we'll, all of us are going to pay a lot more uh, in terms of prices if, uh, if we don't behave. I'm Chris Conti.